Hey friends, welcome to my channel. I hope that you guys had a great Christmas and New Year's. I know I am super excited to be back sharing DIYs with you. And today I'm gonna to be sharing a Dollar Tree succulent wreath. And I think that this wreath would be great for Valentine's Day or even for spring. For this wreath, you're just going to need some type of wreath form. You're gonna need some succulents, some greenery, and a little bit of paint. I will be using this pale pink paint as well as a little bit of red. I'm gonna mix the two shades of pink so that it gives me a pink and a coral kind of color that I can use. Now this isn't necessary for this wreath. I could have left the succulents the way that they are, but I love how adding a little bit of the pink and a little bit of the coral to the edges of the succulents gives it that Valentine's Day look. I'm basically just going to dry brush some of the pink on the edges of the succulents where I see fit. Now some of the succulents actually already have a little bit of pink in them and a little bit of pink around the edges, so those ones I just leave. I would love to know if you decorate for Valentine's Day or do you just skip right over Valentine's Day and go right into spring decor? Let me know down in the comments. If you are new to my channel, welcome, I'm Julie. And here on my channel, I love to share budget-friendly decor and DIY ideas. So be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell so that you don't miss any future videos. This is the most fun part of making a wreath. It's just playing around with the different pieces and seeing how I want it laid out. Now all of this greenery was just stuff that I already had. Some of it is from the Dollar Tree, some of it is from Walmart. I believe some of the picks from Walmart are only 98 cents that I have here, but just use any of the greenery that you already have in your stash to play with. And I decide to just use the succulents. Normally I like to start on the edges with the greenery and work my way into the center, but this time I really wanted the succulents to be the main part and I wanted the pieces of greenery to flow out of it. I want it to look natural like it's growing in the wild with different kinds of greenery st sticking out in different ways. and. It just gives it that realistic look. Once everything was in place, I did go back through with some more of the paint and touched up any place that I know now can be seen visually when the wreath is hung and made it look a little bit more pink.
I am loving this wreath. Let me know down in the comments what you think. If you're looking for some more DIY inspiration, please check out these other videos and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.